Hey guys, welcome back to Stroke and Board. In the last episode, we talked about how to properly install these race bearings in this little small block Chevy. This episode, we're going to be talking about how to measure that oil clearance using a dial bore gauge and a manual micrometer. So let's get stroking. First thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and uh, install these main studs here. It's a small block of juice, a lot of the main studs are fasteners. If you have bolts, well then you're going to go ahead and install the cap first. We're going to run these things in here finger tight. Using our T handle, we're just going to snug them up. They don't need a, they don't need a lot of force, they just need to be snug. It's important to note that when installing the cap, you're going to want to seat the cap prior to torquing it. Since torque is only a measurement of friction, you don't want to have to increase the friction trying to pull the cap down. It's going to skew your torques. Using that depth little hammer, just kind of set it in there so you can see that it's going to touch that block. Now when using the studs, you want to make sure that you have the lubrication in the proper places. That being top side of these threads and the top side of that washer. Now these studs call for 60 foot pounds. You're going to want to do that in three increments. 20, 40, 60. Something I like to do again because torque is only the measurement of friction. I like to go ahead and pull them down until they reach right about nine foot pounds, so I know I have a load on both sides before I actually start my torque. This is going to help give you a more consistent torque. So once you achieve that number, we're going to go ahead and make our first pass to 20. While you're torquing, you you don't want to just yank it into the foot pound. You want to take it nice and slow to make sure you're actually achieving. Once we got our cap nice and torqued, now we're going to grab our dial micrometer. We're going to go ahead and measure the crank. Now, since we're working with the very first main, we're going to measure the first main journal. Alright, so our first main journal on crankshaft measures 2.4487. Definitely going to want to write that number down because we're going to need it later. Next up, we're going to grab our dial bore gauge. We're going to make sure that we have the proper adapters fitted. Now, I already did that to kind of save us some time. There's two ways you could go about this. You can go ahead and set your micrometer inside of bikes and zero out your bore gauge to that. Or you could go the way that I like to do it. And I like to zero the bore gauge based on the actual journal. That way I can bring the micrometer down and really get it just as close as possible. So we're going to slide our board gauge in here, give her a couple loops, find really our, our top spot here. And then we are going to zero out that gauge right there. And after we've done that, we're going to set our dial board gauge in the vise. Grab our manual micrometer. And back the micrometer off to we're back to zero. Since the crankshaft journal should be much smaller than our actual opening, we're going to be loosening the micrometer for this measurement. All right. So it looks like 
looks like our block came out at 2.4516. And what we're going to do with that, we're going to take our measurement of our block and subtract it from the measurement, or excuse me, we're going to take the measurement of our crankshaft and subtract it from the measurement of our block. That's going to give us a total measurement of 2,900 thousandths. Bring the measurements up there so you guys can actually see it in case you didn't hear me. And that's how you're going to measure your oil clearance using a dial bore gauge.